Hey you all, welcome to Pearls of Eden. I hope that y'all are having a beautiful day. I decided to film this video outside because I'm enjoying the dust of snow and the ice that we really do have, but uh, it's trying to melt, but it's so cold I don't think it, it will anytime soon. Um, today I'm gonna talk to you about the dream that I had, but I wanna give you some background. Um, December 22 going into January 23 was when we were doing the Midnight Power Lives. For those of you who were a part of that, um, I gave a word about the fig tree and how 2023 was going to be a year of the fig tree. Now you all know the story about the fig tree. That's where Jesus comes to the fig tree and he sees all these green leaves. It looks alive, but it's dead because it doesn't have any fruit basically. And he wants to cut down this tree right away because it said it's a fig tree, but it ain't got no fruit. And he was telling me how this is a picture of so many believers' life. They say that they are of God, that they are believers, but yet there's no fruit of the Spirit. There's no fruit evident in their life. And that he was going to give people a year, a year to turn it around. 2023 was a year of self-examination. It was a year of consecration. Many of you know that. It was a year of intimacy where we were sitting at the feet of Christ, allowing him to purge away anything within us that had to go because it was positioning us for 2024 because I said that in 2023, the year of the fig tree, when 2024 rolled around, it would be the year of judgment and rewards and we know judgment when judgment comes it comes with either something good or something negative but the judge was going to come through with his verdict and so we're going to see a lot of that in 2024 we're going to see many people being judged righteously and those who will be judged for the acts that they did that did not line up to the word of god and so yesterday i had a dream and in this dream it was it was really unusual because this was a dream where this young lady lived with a group of girls, a group of young women, I should say. And these young women would have all of these party, lively events at night. They came alive at the night, okay? Um, and then she would be going to bed, you know, early because she got up to pray every morning. And so they were kind of on different schedules. But it never bothered the young lady that would wake up to pray in the morning. She would just go on about her business. But her behavior, her getting up disturbed them in the morning so much so that they felt like the need to report her. They didn't even come to her with their complaint. They went right to the judge or whoever was in charge to report her to say she was just making too much noise in the morning and disturbing their sleep. But then you had the young lady who was also being disrupted um, in many ways, but she never complained. She never even complained to God about it. She just kept doing her routine. And so what happens next is quite unusual because the judge now brings vindication. But the vindication is not on the behalf of the people who were complaining and murmuring, but it will fall on the behalf of the young lady who never said a word. I want to tell you that you don't have to plead your case. Even though people have come against you and you didn't even know it, this young lady had no idea that there were people complaining and murmuring about her while she's busy praying. No doubt of I'm sure they are in her prayers, okay? But she had no clue but the father had every bit of an understanding of what was going on and he would come through and vindicate her i want to tell you vindication is coming you may not have known or had a clue about the circumstances that were around you about the people who ganged up around you but god knew and the verdict was in favor of this young lady and the verdict convicted those who came against her so much that it would shift their hearts judgment is coming we're going to see judgment on the earth we're going to see judgment of those who say that they are believers but they turn in other believers you know that's in the scriptures there will be a day where believers will turn in other believers thinking they're working on the behalf of the father but they are not that is the delusion and so I wanted to share with you, you don't have to worry about exposing others. You don't have to worry about being your own vindicator. When you do the will of the Father, He's got your back. Just like He had in that dream for the young lady who didn't know what was going on. Had no idea that people were speaking against her. Had no idea that people were reporting her. She was just about the Father's business. And keep this in mind, you all. 
she never complained against the others even though they were disruptive to her routine and her her sleep she never complained keep your heart pure guard your heart with all diligence because just as 2023 was a year of examination and getting before the father 2024 will be the result of those fruits y'all get ready because you're going to see vindication you're going to see judgment in the way of those who persecuted and mocked and did things that were not of God. You're going to see people fall. You're going to see exposure like never before. This is a year where you will know the wheat and the tares. There will be such a strong distinction. The line will be drawn so drastically. There will be no doubt. So I love you to life, you all. Enjoy the day and I'll see you on the next round. Vindication is coming.